Hi, this is Tyson from Dinosaur Dog Studio and thanks for taking the time to watch this video today. Today we're going to talk about goals and what kind of goals that you need to have in place to keep moving forward. So the two goals that I recommend that everyone has is quarterly goals and daily goals. And I'm going to describe exactly what kind of goals these are. Uh, first off, I hope that you're setting goals. If you're not setting goals, you need to. Uh, it's essentially, setting goals is laying out the map of where you want to be and then actually taking actionable steps towards that. If you don't know where you're going, you don't know what actions to take today, in the week, coming weeks and months to actually reach that end desired state. So that being said, I hope you're setting goals. If you're not, go ahead and do it. The two goals that I recommend all artists are setting for themselves are daily goals and quarterly goals. And I'll explain why. So the daily goals is to make sure that you're making consistent progress every single day. If you're not making progress every single day or nearly every single day, uh, then you're never going to actually achieve whatever you set out to achieve. The second one is quarterly goals. Uh, quarterly goals are much more important to me than annual goals or monthly goals. Monthly goals, it's too short of a time period to get any significant project done. However, an annual goal is just too far out in the future. Our animal brains can't understand that far out in the future very well. So it's better to set it's a quarterly goal is where it's somewhat long term. It's long enough to complete a significant project, but it's also short enough to know that there's some urgency behind it. We need to get moving today if we're going to reach that quarterly goal. Quarterly goals, you need to have two goals. You have one goal that is what I like to refer to as your serious goal. That is something that is difficult for you to achieve, but is also achievable. For example, I want 100 subscribers on YouTube in three months. Maybe that's a poor example. But you have now a goal that you can work towards. The second goal uh, that I encourage artists to do is something that's fun. Um, whether that's filming a off the wall music video that may or may not pan out. This encourages you to be have fun, be creative, and not kind of lose the reason you're 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 making music to begin with. So it, it's making sure that you're still kind of coming back to your roots, having fun, um, and just enjoying yourself along the way, uh, because there's no end to this journey. You just have to enjoy the journey while you're on it. And then the other goals, so daily goals, these should be time blocked goals that you achieve every single day. For example, uh, a couple weeks ago, I talked about writing songs in, say, 15 minutes. That is a great example of a time boxed goal. Uh, another example could be I want to work out for 30 minutes every single day. Um, you can break that up into 15 minute chunks or something, but your goal is still to work out for 30 minutes. The reason why I like time boxed goals is that if you're not feeling it one day, you only have to do it for those, say, 15 minutes of writing songs. And if you don't come up with anything, Oh, well, doesn't matter. At least you tried and you still achieved your goal by working at it for 15 minutes. You're going to achieve more by consistently putting in effort than if you just put in two hours worth of effort today, but then don't, don't do anything the rest of the month. It only takes a, a couple weeks to build up a couple hours worth of effort over time. And it didn't really feel like that big of an investment all at once. So whatever you want to achieve, obviously it's best if your quarterly goal says your quarterly goal is to uh, write a hundred songs. If you're going to be writing at least 15 minutes every single day, you have a much better shot at reaching that goal of writing a hundred songs in three months. If you are sitting down and writing every single day. So those are the two goals that I always recommend artists have. Don't go, don't have too many goals uh, because you want to be laser focused on the right goals. All right, I hope this is helpful for you. Um, if you have a production project that you want help with, um, you can go ahead and go to dinosaurdogstudio.com and request a quote there. I hope you have a great week and thanks for watching. Bye.